Volume 5 was released on September 23rd, 1999, bringing with it a slew of powerful new spell cards. Change of Heart allows you to take control of one monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn, regardless of position. Not only was this an effective way to deal more damage to your opponent by stealing their larger monsters, but there was now finally a way to interact with a set Magician of Faith and actually punish your opponent by adding one of your own spells back with their Magician. Speaking of ways to deal with Magician of Faith, Volume 5 also brought with it Tribute to the Doom, a spell card that destroys any monster on the field by discarding one card. While Fisher was a one-for-one one in terms of card economy, you didn't have nearly as much freedom to destroy specific monsters, whereas Tribute to the Doom could destroy set flip monsters or giant threats at the cost of discarding a single card. This cost could even be an upside, as similar to Graceful Charity, you could discard high attack point monsters to special summon back with Monster Reborn. However, there's another deck that's been running rampant throughout this time, and that's Ultimate Offering. When Ultimate Offering was originally printed in Booster 3, its text read, Monsters can be summoned separately from normal summons by paying 500 life points for each monster. The consensus was that Ultimate Offering would have by far and away been the best deck if it did in fact bypass Tribute Summons, and to no surprise, it did dominate where it was allowed to be played in this matter in the history of the OCG. Oh my god, finally, our prayers have been answered, and we actually have a way to deal with Magician of Faith, or Man Eater Bug, or a Flip Monster in general, and that is courtesy of Volume 5. Thank you very much for giving us both Change of Heart and Tribute to the Doom. Now, obviously, these decks don't look too different from what we've seen before, but it actually impacts gameplay quite a bit, right? Because before, the only way to really deal with a Magician of Faith or a Man Eater Bug was with a Raigeki or a Dark Hole. That's basically the only thing you could do, and Dark Hole would wipe your own board. Raigeki's good, but it's a one of, and if you're just gonna stare down a set monster, like, are you really gonna waste a Raigeki? Like, maybe if you have a game shot, but now Change of Heart and Tribute to the Doom add a lot more dynamics to the game, right? Because now, if your opponent sets a monster, there's a lot of mind games to be played, because now there's the interactivity of, okay, I could Change of Heart it, flip it, if it's a Man Eater Bug, pop my opponent's monster, if it's a Magician of Faith, I get to add my own spell back to him, so, which is extra punishing, anyone who plays GOAT format already knows knows this, but with Tribute to the Doom, you can also just dispose of the monster and also have a bit of combo potential because Monster Reborn is obviously at three, and pitching a card to make sure your opponent's Magician of Faith doesn't resolve, honestly, is probably a pretty good deal. But it also initiates some mind games, right? Because your opponent could just, after maybe resolving a Graceful Charity or Pot of Greed, what if they just set a Mechanical Chaser instead of being Magician of Faith or Maneater Bug? That gets Change of Heart or Tribute to the Doomed. Sure, if it's Change of Heart, you might take 1850 to the face, but if they tribute to the Doom to Mechanical Chaser, they're going to feel real bad about that because now there's going to be a bigger threat lurking in their hand, and that's one less option they're going to have to deal with it. Obviously, Swords is another mechanism by which we can interact with Flip Monsters during this time, but it doesn't dispose of the monster or give you the advantage. It just proactively activates the effect and, you know, maybe depending on the circumstances, if it's like Maneater Bug, that might be good for you. But I would say like 99 times out of 100, if you're going to proactively flip your opponent's Magician of Faith, it's just going to spell disaster for you. And speaking of disaster, let's go ahead and talk about the other deck we're going to be uh, playing today, and that is Ultimate Offering. Now, as mentioned in the introduction, Ultimate Offering is a very strange card, and obviously, like a lot of early Yu-Gi-Oh!, the cards weren't exactly defined. There's a lot of open interpretation as to how these effects worked, and because there wasn't an official database or an official resource for store owners or anyone to really flock to to be able to find actual definitive evidence as to how these cards worked or not, sometimes people were just playing made-up Yu-Gi-Oh!, and Ultimate Offering is, of course, one of those instances. As we all know, Ultimate Offering during the main phase or opponent's battle phase, you can pay 500 life points. Immediately after this effect resolves, Normal Summoner set one monster. This is the current errata of this card. Obviously, the text on this card was much different before, and when it comes to Ultimate Offering, not clearly defined as to whether or not you could just summon out Tribute Summons for free by paying 500 life points. I pulled up the original text here, and God, does that artwork look sick, man. 2000 Yu-Gi-Oh hits different. By paying 500 life points, one monster can be normal summoned as an additional normal summon set. This doesn't necessarily exclude tribute summons. Like, I could understand why people would interpret this as saying, oh, you can just pay 500 life points to normal summon a blue eyes white dragon, especially when you consider the fact that before that was what you were allowed to do in Yu Gi Oh! And especially when you look at the fact that this is a game and you're playing a card like this. 
Obviously, there are rules to games, and sometimes those rules are bent in different ways depending on what different cards allow you to do, right? Like most of the time, you're only allowed to draw one card at the beginning of your turn, but then when you have Pot of Greed letting you draw two, Graceful Charity letting you draw three, you're sort of just changing the way the game works by what the cards tell you to do. So understandably, we're in the era of like early embryonic card games where there's a lot of stuff that people just really don't understand at this point. So I could see why people would think that this just allows you to drop a blue eyes white dragon onto the field. And we're going to put this to the test today. We're going to see that if Joseph and I went to a locals where you were actually allowed to play ultimate offering in its broken busted state, how much that would actually have an impact on the game. Because if you think about it, yeah, dunking a summon skull or a blue eyes white dragon or multiple just out of nowhere could end the game immediately. But it's not like there aren't counters to these cards either, right? Like you still have all the draw power to see your copies of dark. Dark Hole or Regeki. You have Change of Heart, which inversely would just completely wreck you if you're summoning all these and aren't winning the game immediately. There is still cards like Trap Hole and such to be able to stop attacks, but also we have like removal like Fisher and Tribute to the Doom, so it's not like we're without answers to just summoning big guys at this point. So I think this will be an interesting experiment to see how powerful Ultimate Offering truly would have been and uh, whether or not it would have been the format warping mega threat everyone back in 2000 thought it would have been. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Joseph, Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity cannot get banned soon enough. Uh, <laughs> I, somehow they figured out a way to make the format worse by introducing Change of Heart and Tribute to the Doomed, and now the games can just end immediately. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure this is going to be a good episode, huh? <laughs> it's crazy that that is correct and also will not be resolved anytime <laughs> soon. I can't believe the best version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Wow, look at you not picking paper for once. I'm rolling, um, guys. I, I cannot believe the best version we've played since starting History of OCG was like when they first released Flip Monsters. That felt like actual Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, and uh, here we are. Well, best of luck, buddy. Well, Let's see we will got. not be playing any actual Yu-Gi-Oh! today. Let's go Pot of Greed. Oh, never mind. And Pot of Greed. <laughs> and Jeez. Graceful Charity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, uh, and Graceful Charity. Uh-huh. You know, maybe this is just like a metaphor for how Yu-Gi-Oh is now, because a lot of people, you know, people just love playing cards, making it that their opponent just feels like they're at backs against the wall at all moments. Uh, maybe the OCG originally had that right. I don't know. Uh, good luck, jerk. <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably completely dead here. We will, you know, if I had to guess, I feel like there's a particular set monster. It could be that's get back literally any of these, anything. <laughs> any of these green cards that are just, you know, smiling in your graveyard over here. Just there's zero chance I'm going to be able to come back from this. Uh, you know what? We're going to swords and just let you get the thing back. Yeah, uh, it is. It is the boy. Uh, I'm going to grab graceful. You do that. I'm going to set and cry. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Would you believe I am uh, one Harpy's Feather Duster away from killing you here? <laughs> I am not shocked in the slightest. I'm not shocked in the slightest. Oh. It's crazy to think that initially, like, Harpy's Feather Duster wasn't even good against swords because swords just, like, went to grave and just, like, lingered on the field. I don't really feel the need to do anything here. Uh, well, I'm going to swords first and foremost. I was really hoping you were going to try to kill me and then oh. I could feather duster to get the swords back, but uh, or uh, magician fate to get the swords back. So that's a bit of a waste, unfortunately. Uh, main one, this is turn one on my swords. I literally am just not doing anything, so I will just set and pass. Turn one on your swords, by the way. I'm going to change of heart this one. You can have it. Oh, I was really hoping that it was fucking the second magician. No. <laughs> I almost did it last turn, and I was like, oh, it really was a magician. I'm mad. Uh, let's normal Gemini Elf and pass turn. I get my main eater back. This is turn two on swords. Stand by main. We're just doing nothing here. Yeah, I will put this man eater bug to defense, I guess, and uh, go ahead. My swords is expired. Yours is on turn two. Completely dead. Well, show me the swords, you know. Nope. I mean, I would have slapped that down immediately if that were the case. I feel like there's no point to play a monster because it's just going to immediately die. Uh, so I'm not going to. Go ahead. Your swords expires. Uh, let's go Feather Duster. You had it. Yep. One turn too late. Um, 
Let's go reborn. Sure. Let's go reborn. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not lethal. Uh, yeah. Let's it's just uh, a let's lot. Just get in for a ton. Uh, three, so, four, fifty, nineteen, nineteen, eighteen, fifty. Imagine having gores in this All game. Right, go ahead. Okay, uh, I'll draw. Probably dead, but I guess we can try our best. Uh, I'm gonna tribute to the doomed your Gemini elf, pitching the blue eyes white dragon. Yeah. Uh, this may shock you. I will reborn the blue eyes white dragon. Yeah. I will normal summon a Gemini elf. Also fine. Um, I guess that's like really all I can do. So I guess I can clean up the board here. I don't know if I should be attacking with this man eater bug. I got to be honest with you, but it's funny. So I'll do it. 150. I think you're dead to the same stuff anyway. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm looking at 50 it. 50 and 11. It's like, if you have board wipe, I'm dead. If you have like big guy, I'm dead. So <laughs> like, right. let's see. Well, it. here's board wipe and here's big guy. There's big guy. Yep. You got it. Uh, that went about just about as uh, poorly as I expected it to. Let's see if uh, we can get some draw cards for once. Best of luck, buddy. Ooh, you're going first, sir. I, I'm thinking. This is a hard hand. Thinking? What do you mean thinking? That's what I mean. Is that, what, is that how you're thinking? Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I'm not thinking because I'm smiling. I got pot degree. Yeah, let's go. I'm in like a similar situation to you. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, I'm going to just set one and pass. Chaser? Why? Wow. He's got his own back row, huh? Okay. Stand by me. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go graceful. Mm -hmm. We will pitch this Maneater Bug Tribute to the Doomed. And we've got a pot. Awesome. And, uh, okay. Let's uh, try Gemini Elf. Okay. Uh, and that's fine because now we can win the game. So I see there's a little card during this time, Joseph, that, uh, people weren't exactly sure how it worked uh, exactly. <laughs> and no one can really tell them otherwise. So we're going to go ahead and summon a mechanical chaser. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and summon a summon skull. And you know what? We're going to summon a blue eyes, white dragon, and we're going to change of heart your mechanical chase. <laughs> well, hold up. Don't you need to tribute <laughs> monsters for that card? That's the best part. No one knew and no one could say otherwise. So that's game, buddy. <laughs> I'd like to say otherwise. <laughs> well, uh, I hope that doesn't happen again. I feel like you need to have like the perfect amount of cards to make that actually work. Uh, holy crap, this hand is not good. Uh, I'll just set and pass. Go ahead. It's me, Graceful Charity. Hey, we are we are get we are gonna sit, get so sick of seeing this card. Gonna. Yep. Pot of greed. Yeah, great, great. Oh, uh, that's that's where it ends. Well, only two until the magician gets flipped, and then we're dead. All right, I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Uh, standby main, still not doing a ton. Let's go. Uh, you know what? I'll change of heart it. <clears throat> Uh, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. Give me that change of heart back. I'll hit you for three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not doing anything. Go ahead. Well, I wanted that pot back. I bet you did. I bet you did. I can't normal anything because of the change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. Yeah, I could. Go ahead. Passing. Yeah. Boring. Let's, uh... I guess we can uh, we can try this. Uh, I'll fire ultimate off. Ah, uh, yep. We'll bring out summon skull. Yeah, I guess so. We'll attack. Okay. Uh, that's all on my turn. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, thank God. Uh, okay, feather duster. Oh sure. I'm sure. fucking with that. Uh, swords, swords is fine. I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do here. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Draw. Stand by main. What do you got? Just like a like a man eater bug or something? Some like dumb card. Uh, let's go tribute to the doomed. Okay. 
was a man eater bug. And uh, I will, God. I feel like I'm safe, but then like if Graceful Charity just comes down, like I'm just actually probably fucked. Uh, I'll pass, I'll run the risk. Turn one on your swords. Fissure. Sure. Reborn. Reborn? Yep. Give me the monster. I was equally afraid of a uh, change of heart there too. It's cool, dude. I, I'm just getting the regeki yeah. out of your hand. I'll take a lot. Okay. Uh, Pretty good. We'll pot. Mm. Activate our own swords. Mm. And uh, I guess we will chill. Turn two on yours. Damn. Didn't think we'd get to do this. All right. Oh, my dust God. All, baby. You got the second duster. Uh, I'm just dead. Yeah. I'm yeah. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that worked out. <laughs> That's crazy. I, there's nothing I could do. I had change of heart. I had a chaser. I had a blue eyes because this deck's playing fucking blue eyes because yeah. it's playing the ultimate offering shit. And then uh, swords reborn. So. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing. I got to set a guy, I guess. Yeah, a, I got changed. There's literally hand. nothing. Yeah. yeah. God, there's just so many situations in this format where it just feels like it, it, and change of heart, I think, makes it even worse now because now it's like, oh, they have a big guy on the field. Great. Now you can take it and use that to OTK them. So now the game's over even quicker. Like, I think it was like more supposed to be for like the flip effects, if anything, because now it's like, cool, I can take your magician of faith. I can get back my own draw spell or powerful spell or my uh, your man eater bug to like pop your own guy. That's sick. But like, <laughs> it's like you can take the big guys just as well. This sucked ass. This was not enjoyable. This was our fastest episode no. yet. I think so. I think so. I think the best part is what people don't know, and I'm actually going to go and show them in the uh, replay section, is that, uh, funny enough, we actually had another game that I forgot to record, and that game was over in about three seconds because I actually OTK'd you <laughs> on the first turn, which I didn't think was actually possible in this format. Uh, all we really saw was you normally summoning a monster and then i just go graceful into pot into graceful into like every draw spell and then just go like normal reborn reborn just kill and change of heart your guy and just kill you well um now great that, format great fucking format now that we know uh <laughs> to the viewers at home that you've won two and i've done two do you want to play the tiebreaker fifth game <laughs> are we gonna do the tiebreaker sure you know what i'm down Let's in the do interest the of ad revenue <laughs> <laughs> all right the all-important game five that uh you're never gonna get to see so let's uh let's go second let's uh let's hope it's a good one but <laughs> yeah but i do i think the audience might appreciate how fast these games actually are compared to old history episodes <laughs> uh old history episodes are like 40 minutes of us staring at a hand that does ten thousand things and you know it, yep Say what you will about this format. We really do not have a difficult time figuring out what the play is. Well, the, the play is usually pretty telegraphed, I would say, for the most part. I'll go Gemini Elf. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Fisher off the Mechanical Chaser because yeah. I fear that that's Kunai with Jane. I'll hit. I'll take 19. And I'll set one. Go ahead. This is interesting. Neither of us have draw cards. Okay. Okay. Well, let's calm down. I lied. <laughs> Never mind. I shouldn't have opened my big fucking mouth. Chaser. <laughs> uh, I'll trap hole it. Why not? Ooh. Okay. Someone's a little scared of Kunai with Chain. I am a little scared of Kunai with Chain. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared of getting killed here. So I'm going to tribute, uh, <laughs> kill the shit. Gemini Elf. Good. Sure. Okay. I'll draw. Oh, you know what? You got, uh, yeah, you got yeah, your go card. Off, it's only fair king. that I get mine. Go off, king. All right. Uh, let's go. Ooh, man. This is actually a tough one. Let's, you dumped a skull. Uh, this is actually hard. I feel like getting rid of that. Yeah, this is whack. I think I'm gonna get rid of tribute to the doomed Fisher. <laughs> okay. Uh, mechanical chaser. Yeah, I have to trap all this. I don't want to die. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll set one. Go ahead. Shit. Uh. Hmm. This is a pretty simplified okay. game state. Says shit when he just said like a magician of faith. Uh, yeah, shit, because now if you it. have a change of art, I lose. <laughs> Yeah! Give me that value, baby. Give me that value. Yeah, Let's yeah. get the graceful. All right. Well, graceful. Yeah, I bet. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, we're going to get rid of your one trap hole is gone. That's actually quite relevant here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of man eater and we're going to get rid of. God, I really don't want to get rid of any of these cards. I'm going to be honest with you. I actually don't think I need swords, so I'm going to pitch that. Uh, I'll pot. That's horrifying. Um, we will go 
I'm going to... I don't think there's any way I can slice it. I'm going to sack your magician for summon skull. Okay. Uh, I will ultimate offering for Gemini Elf. Okay. I will go to battle. Yeah. 1925. I think I have to kunai the 25. Okay. I uh, figured, and good thing I was playing around that the whole game. Uh, I will pass on that. Oh, thank the fucking Lord. No! It's only fair. It's only fair. I can't complain. Oh, yes, you can. Wow. These are two hard ones, actually. Oh, my God. Um, well, one is Monster Reborn, so we're keeping that. Uh, ooh, wow. Tribute, change of heart is what I'm going to send. Wow. Okay. Okay. Reborn my skull. Yep. Uh, we'll go into skull. Sure. Then we'll set one. End of your battle phase. No! Ultimate offering. Yeah, go off. I'm going to set a monster. Can you? Normal summon set. Awesome. Normal summon or set. Go yep. ahead. Uh, main one. You have a monster. I do not have a. Oh, well, we're gonna f we're, we're flipping this. Uh, give me graceful. <laughs> yeah. I want to see some more cards. That's all. Okay. I don't need a second ultimate offering. That's for sure. I think I can pitch this blue eyes out of my hand while I'm at it too. Oh, uh, we'll draw two. Come on. Oh, this is great. Okay, perfect. Uh, we will go. Still got a set. It's like man eater. If it's faith, I think you're dead. So I don't think it matters. Uh, I'll go mechanical chaser. Reborn summon skull. Reborn blue eyes. Oh come on. And so I think this should kill you through like every conceivable thing imaginable. So we'll go attack your summon skull for five. I'll take it. Uh, the highest defense value that could be is like six hundred. I do have to... Actually, yeah, I'm still not uh, alive here. If this is uh, if this is Maneater, you're actually alive. It's Maneater. It is. Okay. Uh, we'll go... Should have attacked with the skull, actually, because actually I think that would have been game. Well, it wouldn't have been game. You would have yeah, had to kill one of the other kill. guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm on Regeki or die here anyway, so... Right, basically. Yeah. Uh, or pot into pot into graceful, you know. Well, that's step one. Why do I say... Why do I say anything? Ah. Uh, Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. no! <laughs> I had an ultimate offering for another magician of faith anyway. Oh, <laughs> my God. Out. All right. You know, you what, was it. what was interesting What was interesting about that, that last game, though, is that I actually think I used ultimate offering in, like, a non-cheating way the whole time. Yeah. Right? It's still, it it's was, still a good card. Um, I think it's just weird because you have to think about like the power level of the cards that we're dealing with in this format. And ultimate offering is like, it's weird to say, it's almost like too slow. Even with the ability to just, you know, in fake OCG land that you're able to just normal summon like tribute summons without actually being able to. Um, it's hard to kind of like make the argument for like, oh, am I going to play this card that I may or may not even have monsters in my hand that I can summon to the field mm -hmm. uh, over something else, like one of these power spells that like almost wins me the game automatically in combination with any of these other power spells, mm -hmm. right? Um, but we are playing like the chasers, the Gemini elves, like even just like setting something uh, just on your turn, just so that I can flip it on my turn is actually kind of powerful and plays around board wipes to an extent. Yeah. So... It is interesting to kind of see, like, the dynamic Ultimate Offering had when you remove, like, the fact that people were just straight up cheating with the card. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, still still a shitty format. Yeah, still definitely a shitty format. Definitely but, uh, a shitty format. Um, I, the, we're getting shades of cool things that we could be doing in the format. Right. Uh, but they're just completely right. overshadowed by the fact that there are three Pot of Greed and three Graceful Charity. And sometimes just going like plus seven over your opponent just makes it a, a frustrating non-game. And uh, that sucks. W with no hand limit, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. So, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So, shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, 
MBT cancel bio community soon, cancel bio committee soon, cancel bio players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment.